Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I'm having a crappy day. I got up this morning at 4.15 to drive to a beautiful waterfall and it's about an hour and a half drive from the house and about an hour away from the house, a deer jumped out in front of my car and destroyed it and then it took forever to get back home and by the time I got back home I was exhausted from getting up that early so I just took a nap. And uh, now I'm back out just kind of at a local park and I've stumbled across this bed of Zinnia flowers. Now my zinnias at home are, are short zinnias. These are the tall variety and these zinnia flowers are great for attracting moths, butterflies, and bees. So I've got the 100 to 500 on the R6 and I'm attempting to get some photographs of the flowers and the moths and the butterflies and the bees. So we'll see how it goes. As soon as I purchased my 100 to 500 millimeter lens, I thought, man, this lens is going to be great for butterflies and bees because it has a really close minimum focus distance and it's 500 millimeters. And today I ended up not getting any butterflies. I got another type of insect that's not a butterfly and it's not a moth. This is called a skipper. Now I'm not sure exactly what species of skipper this is but I did have a great time photographing this skipper and I think two or three others were there and I just had to kind of wait until they got in the right light. Now these skippers, they have kind of a distinct eye and that was great because the animal eye detect autofocus would lock on this skipper eye. It would detect the eye and lock on it. So I thought that was really cool, but I was also photographing some bumblebees and here is a bumblebee photo uh, really beautiful I thought but it has kind of a black face and black eyes and because of that the animal eye detect autofocus didn't do nearly as well with detecting its eyes but I have the second autofocus button the star button programmed on my R6 to do single point so when I was working on the bumblebee I would just press my second button and move my focus point around with my thumb and then when I worked on the skipper I would press my first autofocus button and let the camera do the work for me. Really beautiful. I, I probably could have stopped down. I, I shot all these wide open at f7.1, which is what that lens is on the long end. And I probably could have stopped down a little bit more to get some more depth of field. But I thought the uh, out of focus areas were really beautiful in these. But I would probably have liked to have stopped down to maybe F9 or 10 or even 11, just to get a little bit more depth of field. Look at the, look at the tongue on the skipper doing a curly cue. That's really pretty cool. But I had a nice time doing some photography today on a day where I had planned to do a lot more photography, but at least I got to do some today. All right, thanks for watching this quick video here in College Dale, Tennessee. I think this is the College Dale Greenway, which just right over there a little ways runs into the Wolf Teaver Creek Greenway and uh, just a really beautiful area. This is uh, the same zip code that Heather and I live in but a different part of it. This is way east and Heather and I live way west but it's a beautiful place and uh, you know Heather is is over uh, she's got something she's got to take care of for about an hour so I decided to come with her and just walk around and see what I could find. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and as always I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.